cheeks, butt cheeks. I'm just gonna uh, rewatch that like six more times. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay. I am a romance writer, lover, and general enthusiast. And on the channel, we deep dive into all things romantic comedies and love stories. So if that's something you're interested in, then do consider sticking around. Today, we're gonna to be watching the movie, The Hating Game. So The Hating Game is one off, if not my favorite rom-com movie to have come out in the past year. I'm a really big fan of The Hating Game. I'm a really big fan of the book by Sally Thorne. I have read that more than once. However, I am gonna try not to compare the movie too much to the book today because I do wanna do a separate video talking about the book and movie comparisons. I have dressed for the occasion with the classic Lucy Hutton red lip and the green bedroom wall colour. <laughs> so let's just not dilly dally and get into the hating game. Cheers. I used to hate this song back in the day. I have a theory. Hating someone feels disturbingly like falling in love with them. Yeah, hate him with a passion. Sure, he's easy on the eyes, but don't let that fool you. I absolutely love the casting in this movie, uh, especially Lucy Hale. I'm really just obsessed with Lucy Hale. I have such a huge girl crush on her. And I absolutely love her on-screen chemistry and just like real life friendship and chemistry with, oh my God, Austin, is it Stowell or Stowell? I'm not really, I'm gonna guess Stowell. I really love their chemistry in this movie. Like it's so electric. And I think that's why I love this movie so much. It's just, I think it's perfectly cast because originally it actually wasn't supposed to be here. It was supposed to be Robbie Amel, uh, the guy out of the duff. It was supposed to be him originally. I guess he couldn't do it or for whatever reason it was recast as Austin Stowell, Stowell, Stowell. And I'm so glad that they recast. I love them. Oh, I got you a plant. Your desk. It's a really lovely plant. <laughs> I also just love this movie because enemies to lovers is just the top tier trope. As we all know. Monday, dove gray. Tuesday, white. Wednesday, powder blue. Thursday, window pane blue. And Friday, true blue. In the book, the shirts are different colors to that. I am gonna not talk about the book today. One maniacal nemesis. Set in New York, of course, because what American rom-com isn't set in New York or LA? That was pathetic. Er, uh, who is Joshua Templeman? Oh, your tie's crooked. Okay. Thank you all for being here the day before. We're adding a new position to the team. I'd very much like to hire from within. Yeah, we will be putting together an independent panel. So, you know, when I'm your boss, I will require you to do everything I say with a smile. When I'm your boss, I'm gonna work you so hard that you start using the office as your home address. <sighs> if you get the job, I'll resign. But I'm incapable of giving you that pleasure. Well, it's not the first time you said that to a woman, is it? <laughs> <laughs> then we agree. I'm bearing gifts. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Catch you dream boats on the flip. Hit it. No. Okay. <laughs> Shortcake, if I was flirting with you, you would know it. I didn't know if frat boys knew how to flirt. Thought they just roofied girls' drinks. Amazing line. Oh, I just, there's so much like good, like facial and emotion, emotive acting. The looks, that look he just did to her. Like, that's what really makes this movie and that's what really builds chemistry when you're watching a movie. It's the subtle little nuances, I think. What? I gotta go work on my stroke. Uh, See you kids in the morning. Dick. <laughs> it's not stripping time, it's stripping time. Gonna be posting some Smurf fanfic and eating cranberry sauce out of a can. Drinking the blood of a virgin and then staring at each other in silence. Oh, how'd you know? We're looking for donations. This is a comma, and this is a period. When you take a period you and put, put it... put that donut hole away or I'm gonna shove it up your semicolon. Mommy and Daddy fight sometimes. Mommy and Daddy, are you serious? 
You two are the worst part of my job. Everyone else. <laughs> I love it. I just love the dynamic they have and like the the like wit and it just is amazing. I love it so much. I just worry about you all alone. I know, Mom. I'm fine. That's literally my mum. She says that to me like once a week. <laughs> I wonder if this is a real thing. Do people actually write Smurf fan fiction? Oh, oh, oh. I wanna work you so fucking hard. Yeah, they got they've got very good chemistry. Well, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> yes, Gaga, you look so good. He was shook until she fell over. Hot <laughs> date tonight? I might. Some weird dreams last night. You had a sex dream. Was I in it? Ugh. Only in your dreams would you ever be in my dreams. I was in bed, naked, pressing up against me. I could feel it. You know. <laughs> this scene is wild. Well, I guess I just. Feel weird because it is a guy from work. I'm gonna have to notify HR. We are drowning in remainders. Oh, there's another woman in that office. I've never noticed that before. Could she just hear the entire conversation they just had? <laughs> I am meeting him for drinks at the AC at seven. Well, what a coincidence! I'm going to the AC tonight at seven. Fantastic. What, what brings you to the the Dan Cave? Actually, <laughs> he's such a dork. Tomorrow, I'm free as a beaver. Mm. Not an expression. Yeah, no, I, I'm just... Oh, oh, the AC, seven o'clock. I'll see you there. What the hell? <laughs> Were you just at my desk? Yeah, I just thought I'd tell him I'm not wearing any panties. <laughs> His face. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The scene. I wouldn't want your makeup to smear after you just spent 22 minutes on it in the bathroom. <laughs> Has anybody ever told you this? I love the reflection with the mirror. What are we doing? Do you really hate me? The music choice is a bit weird in this scene. He's, he just looks so good there. Just bump the button. Are we gonna unpress the button? <clears throat> yeah, that scene is quite odd because I think that scene shouldn't work. It's like, how far into the movie? Less than 25 minutes into the movie that scene happens, which just, does feel very premature. If I was writing this story, I would not put a kiss scene in that early. But it does work within the the plot and development of this story. Same applies to the book. I am gonna not talk about the book today. The kiss happens obviously very, very early in the book as well, but it does work because they still pace the relationship out. Hey, we're still a block away from the bar. Yeah, I know. I really want to get out of the car. Oh. Hey, just wait a second. Go and get, take my umbrella. Would he actually have a car if they they live in like New York and they work in like Manhattan or something? I think I tried to fight off the tsunami. Oh, you look great wet. I mean, <laughs> I'll have a Johnny Black neat 
Baileys, rocks. Right. Why, in American movies, they always just drink straight whiskey. I'm sure I said this before in a reaction where they were just drinking straight whiskey. Is this a thing Americans do? Do Americans literally just drink straight whiskey? Such a, that's such a weird thing to do to me. <laughs> hey, you all right? I'm fine. They're very erect lapels on that jacket. Mug face, it's been a really good day for you. What? I made a mistake, okay? And if you want to report me to HR... <laughs> There's also someone playing music, but it's the background of the scene. <laughs> so, like, this is a real date, then? I mean, it is, right? Yeah. It is convincing. Yeah. Hi, who is it? Also, her place is absolutely huge. She lives there alone. It's got a fireplace in it. Like, look at that fireplace. And she's supposed to live in New York City. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> it looks rough. Lucy, I'm very sorry. So sorry you forgot to shower this morning? <laughs> Can we please lay down our weapons? <sighs> Packing some heat. He's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Hang on. Is that, is that plant on the side of his desk the plant that she gave him? It does look like it, it's just not in the same pot. But it looks like the same plant. The allure of the nice guy. Your white whale. Isn't that what everybody wants? So it seems. But he doesn't think he's nice because women tell him he's not. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take that as a no. Tinkerbell on the rag. That guy is such a dick. Muffs. The only thing that sort of disappointed me about the film actually coming from the book was I am gonna not talk about the book today. This paintball scene, it's just, it's a really significant long drawn out scene in the book and they cut a lot out for this. Plus they like paintball in their own clothes, which isn't a thing. Okay, thank you so no. much. You know what, I'm gonna text her right now. Oh. You are absolutely the best. No, Luke, the best. <sighs> She's a dick as well. <laughs> I've got this friend and he's looking for a new roommate. Will you you want to move up? in with us? <laughs> What are you doing? You're burning up, shortcake. I do not know anyone by that name. I am going to annihilate you. We're on the same team. Fuck. <laughs> it would be so much more painful getting hit by a paintball if you were like playing in the snow when it's really, really cold. Parkour! Yeah. In what world do you play paintball in your own clothes like this? As I know paintball, you always get given like an overall. Okay, team. Also, those both of those girls are wearing really light coloured, nice jackets. And like, she's got really pale jeans on. That's not what you would wear if you were wearing your own clothes to paintball. Aw, poor Danny. <laughs> Mother of dragons, that hurt. Mother of dragons. We're on the same team. <laughs> Get off. Go, Lucy, go. See, her jacket's just fucked now. Oh my god, is it internal bleeding? Is she gonna die? <laughs> no, she doesn't have a fever because you shot her, you dick. Are you okay? <laughs> Where is that? Oh, okay. Oh god. All right. <laughs> Let's get you up. Oh. Come on, time to go home. What do you think I was gonna do? Just open the door and kick you out of a moving car? Oh, <laughs> <sighs> Really, really common rom-com trope is looking after the other person when they're sick. Done very, very well in this. His top is twit. I'm wearing floofy shorts. Try not to talk, Shortcake. I know that's hard for you. Oh, you must have wanted to beat him up so much when you were a kid. <laughs> he used to dress up like a dog, no. make our mom walk him around the block. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. He was 12. No. Oh, Josh, that's too old. All right. <laughs> no, he's too old. The best medicine, right? Yeah. <laughs> and her apartment has exposed brick. There's absolutely no way. No way. <laughs> like a plus one. Oh, yeah, right, because that's what we need more. <laughs> I'm not a baby. You already broke two glasses earlier. There you go. Has anyone ever told you that you look like a young Dennis Quaid? <laughs> <laughs> he does. Watching you pretend to hate that nickname is the best part of my day. Yeah, you only surprised me once. 
When was that? The elevator. And what did you think about that? Yeah, I thought it was really hot. Are we playing a steering game? It's my favorite. I like the way you look at me. <laughs> so do I. I like the way he looks at you too. Oh, perfection. Just checking in on my girl. The old Lucy Goose. They went on one date. My God, Lucinda, can I please get a moment alone? No, not until you say we're even. You're not getting the job. No. I love how they just go from, like, bickering and arguing to just that. Put your hands on me. Oh my God. You put them on yourself. Go to dinner with Danny and kiss him. <laughs> what? They can't handle their scenes. They're just so sexy together. <laughs> and I'm not going to put my hands on you again unless you tell me that nobody kisses you like I do. Nobody kisses you like I do. Nobody kisses you like I do. And like 12,000 of them died. <laughs> and they didn't know what to do with the bodies, so they just dumped them overboard. Check this out! <laughs> Thank you. Designed it myself. Dreamt of a true romance. So what I really respect is that they put in earlier messages in that thread. It really pisses me off how in movies, whenever someone texts someone, it's always like the first text in a thread as if they've never had a conversation with each other before. So I appreciate that they put in earlier text messages. <laughs> you think he's home? <laughs> Went through your garbage, actually. Really? Food scraps, stiff Kleenex, adult diapers. <laughs> stiff Kleenex. You should always laugh. You should always be funny. Oh, you just have such good banter. I love it so much. Script writing on this is so good. Because nobody kisses me like you. Oh. Again, he lives in a massive apartment with, like, exposed brick. Are these people just both millionaires? She likes shooting whiskey. Oh, I love the color. Benjamin Moore, Calypso Green. That bedroom is ridiculous. Come here, no way that's in New York. <laughs> My God, look at his arm. Copycat kiss. Classic. And biceps. Oh, yeah. I knew that. <laughs> what, about this? Well, uh... what did she reach for there? <laughs> did you just full on grope him? They make me feel so ooey gooey. It's called Who Can Make the Other Come First. <laughs> I think it's getting late. What? <laughs> He's got stained glass windows, mate. And stairs. There's stairs back there. Are you toying with me? I think you're the one playing games here, Luz. All right, well, whatever this is, I don't want to do it anymore. I know from reading the book what his emotion is there. Uh, I am going to not talk about the book today. I wonder if it would be confusing if he didn't have the context. Do we even get told at the end why he doesn't want to sleep with her? I guess we'll find out. But the reason that he doesn't, if anyone is unclear, is because he doesn't want Lucy to think of him as just a one night stand and someone she wouldn't seriously consider uh, as a boyfriend and getting in a relationship with. I love this shot in slow motion. That was just really good B-roll. How'd you sleep? Not great. Oh, I, I, this is Lucy Hinton? No, it's Hutton. You sure? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite random that they made this movie a bit of a Christmas film. I, I assume that they were just filming in winter and so lent into it. I also feel like it's over a much shorter period of time the movie is than the book. I think they drag the book out a bit more. I am going to not talk about the book today. For my brother's wedding. <laughs> is this tingling sensation nice or is it deeply uncomfortable? Tingling sensation? Okay, you know what I mean. 
gonna snow. How do you know that? Because it's a thing. I can smell weather. Oh. My breasts can always tell when it's gonna rain. Temple. With a T? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Send an email. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and... I mean, I need my mom to move out, but... I got two weddings this weekend. Uh, two sixteen and uh, no keys. Everything's unlocked. <laughs> I, don't, I feel like he shouldn't be funny. Like I feel like he was written to just be this funny side character that, and like the jokes shouldn't land, but they just do. I find it really funny. Took you long enough. Oh, I was shaving my legs. Oh. <laughs> Gonna uh, rewatch that like six more times. <laughs> He's got a real good bum. Is he actually naked there? Oh my god, imagine him just lying on you naked. <laughs> Madness. Let's do it. <laughs> you should write sonnets. Was that just like zero foreplay? Like, is he in here right now? Feels so good. And I'm so sorry that we missed your son's rehearsal dinner. We were too busy giving each other multiple <laughs> orgasms. <laughs> I learned a long time ago that it's impossible to make people like you. I guess you're right. It's not like I'm ever going to see them again. Snide little comment. No need for violence, little one. What do you want to know? I make a mark when we have a fight and an X when I want to kiss you. Oh my God, look at those veins in his arms. If there's one thing women love, it's a vascular man. When I wore that little black dress to work the other day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The other day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Super hot sex dream about you. I knew it. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't have been alone. You would have been with me. Oh, I just love them so much. <laughs> I love them so much. I just like. I'm not even sure I can put my finger on what it is. I just think it's the chemistry between the two actors, as well as just, I think, that the, the script writing and the dialogue is done really, really well. Oh, it's just, it's just really, really makes me warm and cosy inside. I love it so much. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I think these guys are one of my biggest, like, movie ships. Did he make his side of the bed? <laughs> That's something I would do. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You look gorgeous in this dress. Thank you. It matches your eyes. Does this match my eyes? I'm gonna keep you forever. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> you just snorted. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Cute. I love the idea of like a really winter wonderland wedding. She got a snow white outfit on. Oh no. I thought she was cosplaying as Snow White. Wow, she is stunning. Mm. Nice work, Patrick. <laughs> Lol. You wouldn't happen to have a joint, would you? Oh, I wish. Meth, rat poison, I'll take anything. <sighs> Imagine if someone you never met just came up and said that to you. <laughs> I'd be like, are you joking? Or? <laughs> I mean, Josh and I were never good together. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were, you were with Josh? You were together a year. Like, a calendar year, like a full... 12 months. Like a year is quite a long time to be together. Imagine being with someone for a year and then they leave you for your sibling. <laughs> oh, stunning. So today must really suck for you, huh? Well, it could be worse. I could be here alone. I love them. Calls for some booze, <laughs> so let's go. 
Oh. I thought that you had to have ambition to be domineering. Anthony. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. But she was also a spineless kiss ass. Yeah, it was hate at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> MBA from Harvard, and you spend your days running errands and licking stamps so you can flirt with some little intern. His dad is a. I, I don't think he's making books, sweetheart. I think he's making coffee. Sweetheart. For... None of your business. Don't speak to her that way. I, I like all of you, <laughs> um, except you. <laughs> but Josh runs that place. Actually, we both do. But your son is amazing. And the fact that you can't see that, that is a goddamn shame. So see, I've had a lot of women. I <laughs> seriously hope there's an end to that sentence. <laughs> oh! Look. I wouldn't have noticed that. Like a tree frog. Yeah, your dress isn't the only thing that matches your eyes. There's a bit of a fine line between it being creepy and romantic. And because of that, I'm gonna call you Shortcake. It'll be a dead giveaway that I love you. I'm in this. And you can trust that. Waking up with a full face of makeup. Classic. So this is where the book ends. Everything here on out is added, which I do like for having a better climax. Wait, didn't I say I wasn't going to mention the book? Okay, I'll shut up. I told you she'd back off if you let her think that she could pet the pony. He really is a c I don't need any help feeding her. All right, I'm sure you don't. Get on it. Also, we get into the classic miscommunication of it all here because in real life, if you were Lucy, you'd, you would be a bit like that. You'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. But you know him and you know what the boss is like. And I think you would confront him and ask him before you just made your own assumptions. I wonder what it's like to be a dude who uses his raw animal magnetism as a weapon. Yeah, but it's weird. <laughs> Also, why has she gone to Danny? It's a bit inappropriate. I know they have clearly become friends, but you know, not much time's passed since she sort of kissed him, then left him. So she probably shouldn't be speaking to him about her love life. I just cannot believe I let myself get played like this. Thought I'd join you for a coffee. I don't like you enough to get a coffee with you. No, I'm looking at my inbox and it's not here, you sociopath. Well, then you're either... What is wrong with you? Aren't you pathetic? I bet if he knew you'd had a hand all the way up my skirt, he'd throw a parade in your honor. Projections on my desk by Friday. I don't have the time. <laughs> Lucy can do it. That's such a classic movie line written by people who've never worked in an office. Like, if you had to really write a stereotypical thing that a boss would ask in an office, it's, I'm going to need those projections on my desk by Friday. <laughs> but I doubt a nitwit in a push-up bra would be much help to you. He now understands what her thought process is and what she heard and what her miscommunication is. So why wouldn't he go after her and explain? Oh, I'd love to go to New York at Christmas. That little insert's so random. This is Daisy. Like a flower. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to do your job. Once you finish the chapter, you are then directed to a community group to discuss the story. Publish a chapter at a time, join the conversation with the readers before they write the next chapter. So it's fan fiction. I'd hate that. I wouldn't enjoy reading a book and having to wait chapter to chapter. Also, like, the chapters wouldn't be properly edited. The story wouldn't necessarily flow properly because there's no construct. Mr. Darcy, you're such a great romantic hero. Sometimes... Guy's just an asshole. <laughs> That's certainly been my experience. Then it's new managing director, Lucy Hutton. Congratulations, Lucy. Yes. I took a job as acquisitions editor at HarperCollins last week. She would have kicked her ass too, Josh. <laughs> Fair enough. Didn't like that little comment. You know what I just realized? This is a very public display of affection in front of all of your colleagues. Uh, Not sure I'd enjoy yeah. that. Never. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Neither of them hung up the phone there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
amazing movie. I just love it so much. It's a real comfort movie for me. I'm not even sure. <laughs> it might be like my number one comfort rom-com. I just love everything about it. It just makes me feel so warm and cozy and smushy inside. As I said about a million times during that movie, for me, the just the chemistry of the casting between Lucy Hale and Austin stole, stole. <laughs> I still don't know. But they are just so amazing together. I actually kind of ship them together in real life because of the amount of chemistry they have together just on screen. And I know that in real life they are very, very close friends. I absolutely love the dialogue and all the script writing. Their conversation and the wit is so snappy and sharp. And that's exactly what I personally really connect with and love in rom-coms. The aesthetic of the movie actually, with it being winter and Christmas time, the costuming, I think the music's amazing, I think the set design's really good, I just love everything about it. I think the storyline in general on paper shouldn't really work. If I was writing it, as I say, I would never get them together so early in the book, but it does work and it doesn't lose momentum and it doesn't bore me when usually in situations where they get the couple together a bit earlier, it does bore me and it kind of annoys me because I feel like the, the climax lasts too long and the climax didn't last too long in this. I think it's really, really well paced. There's not much that needs cutting out. I just love this movie so much and I just wanna watch it every single week for the rest of my life, really. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this movie and if you love it, if you hate it. I mean, if you hate it, maybe just leave the video, why are you watching? But don't forget to subscribe if you're not already for more rom-com reviews and deep dives and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!